Well, to shed more light on uh, this, we have the pleasure to have uh, this phone with Dr. Nazar uh, Sami, Consultant Innovation and Technology Management. Good afternoon, uh, sir. Good afternoon. Hello. Uh, hello to you, sir. Well, Dr. Sami, uh, how do you see the importance of the statements uh, uh, by the Minister uh, uh, that innovation and technology are key for development? Uh, yes, as you know that uh, right now, uh, <coughs> when we talk about starting with the Egypt Vision 2030 and how this would uh, take uh, the deep for uh, Egypt in the, the coming uh, years, that uh, Egypt will have uh, a competitive world-class economy uh, that is diversified uh, and based on innovation and knowledge for uh, prosperity uh, for the Egyptians. And therefore, if we look into that in, in deep dive, in that we will see that in order to reach this type of uh, uh, this vision, actually, should this uh, 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 enclosed with the uh, innovation and technology. And when we talk about innovation and technology and the process of technological innovation, this is where we are creating the knowledge economy for the country. And innovation, in a nutshell, is uh, the process of making change, regardless of the size of change or whatever, for a product or a service uh, or a process that will result in something new uh, for the community or for the, for the customers and will have a reflection and an impact for the institution as well. Yes. So uh, uh, when we combine these <coughs> things together with the technology, whether it is the, 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 the knowledge uh, absorbed, or the knowledge uh, associated with the uh, utilization of tools, the processes and systems to achieve certain targets, then we can reach a conclusion that in order to have a world-class services or a world-class economy and to move to the future, this will not be achieved without having a technology and innovation. And all across the ages, since the ancient Egyptians till today, we will see all the inflection points in the history are based on technology and innovation and different type of breakthroughs, uh, technological uh, uh, products or services. Yes, uh, so Dr. Sami, uh, technology has become an essential uh, factor in our daily uh, life. Where does uh, Egypt uh, uh, currently uh, stand at the level of uh, digitalization? Well, uh, the process of digitalization and digital transformation uh, for our audience is just to let you them know that it takes time. I recall a couple of years ago, I hosted at Sufi London, which is the Ministry of Information or Ministry of Communication in Finland, and she mentioned that it, they, it took 15 years in Finland to read their digital transformation process wholly completed at that time. So therefore, it takes time. And, and in the sense of since 2015, where the Supreme Council for Digital Society was inaugurated, and there are a very good, uh, uh, fast-paced steps into that. Starting from building the infrastructure where we are connecting more than 33,000 uh, government institutions and, and, and entities together with a high speed fiber optical network. And on uh, top of that, we have the access to uh, databases and different types of services and security and dealing with changing business models. So uh, there are um, uh, quite moves. Uh, uh, moving, accelerated moves actually in, in this era. And we witnessed in, the, in September 2019 the integration of uh, Digital Egypt, uh, where uh, His Excellency the President uh, witnessed the inauguration of the Digital Egypt platform and with the association with different types of services in that era. So uh, moving into the digitalization, this is the coming future where we are building the infrastructure, building over as well as the, the human capacities and the human skills is extremely important to achieve the goal in, in that direction. Yes, uh, so uh, Dr. Um, uh, during uh, her uh, speech uh, at the annual meetings of uh, the Islamic Development uh, Bank uh, that is, was held in uh, Sharm el-Sheikh, the Minister of International Cooperation said that the ministry provides uh, training experience uh, to owners uh, of uh, emerging projects. So what are the most important training uh, programs uh, available? Well, uh, uh, the Ministry of International Co uh, Cooperation 
uh, is responsible for uh, or established or integrated a company called Egypt Ventures. And this is an investment investment company uh, that uh, is focusing on entrepreneurship and uh, developing the ecosystem in different areas. And it has uh, more than one arm in the area of supporting uh, innovation and technological innovation through entrepreneurship and mainly in the fintech era where we have the, like an incubator of fintech or financial technology incubator as well as the other agnostic, sector agnostic incubator. And therefore, there are a, a, a bunch of uh, uh, training programs and educational programs that are delivered in, in that sense. Part of it is in the technical aspects for developing the products or services for the startups and entrepreneurs. And the other one is the business side and the business component in collaboration with world-class entities and workshops and institutions like the, the, the United Nations Development Program and some other uh, world-class uh, entities that they provide the content for the, the different beneficiaries and startups in that era. So, uh, uh, because uh, essentially that having a fund is extremely important, yet uh, having building on the talent and how to utilize these type of funds and how to move and how to have, like what you call, the growth mindset is a much more important than having just uh, the funding at, at, at one stage or another. So uh, therefore, the, the ministry in, and other ministries, uh, such as Ministry of Planning and, uh, and Ministry of Information Constitution Technology, all of those, they have different types of programs supporting that. For instance, Ministry of Planning, they have uh, a million riyadi, or which is this is an initiative that they are catering for training, giving a training to one million entrepreneurs in Egypt uh, till 2030 in different sectors. Give them uh, all the knowledge areas that they need to have to, uh, to accelerate or to grow uh, their ventures and to move it to the next level. Yes. Uh, so, uh, doctor, uh, uh, what do entrepreneurs uh, need uh, f um, from uh, the uh, technology expert? to start a successful uh, business? Well, um, as you know that we are more living in a very rapid pace uh, environment. Yes. A lot of change is coming uh, over here and there and we witness or saw these this economic changes coming through. So having the right mentors and the right uh, technology experts either uh, from the Egyptian expats in, uh, in all over the world. And we witnessed a couple of days ago uh, Egypt can by industry and we, there was a dedicated session for entrepreneurs uh, in general, e Egyptian entrepreneurs abroad, also Egyptian entrepreneurs in Africa. So having this mandate about the technology guys and the technology mentors is extremely important. Uh, leading, having a cutting edge technological aspect is extremely important. And let me uh, uh, rephrase and recall, His Excellency the President, uh, Dr. Hadithi mentioned that we need to catch up with the fourth industry revolution. We need to own the technology and this is the, the, the actual wealth that we can uh, put it right now and to harvest it in the, in the coming period. So uh, um, transferring the technology, owning the technology is extremely important and in different disciplines, either it could be in medical sector, environment sector, uh, education or uh, whatever sector or agribusiness as well or agriculture businesses. So whenever we are owning the technology, we're transferring the high tech from uh, world-class uh, 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 organizations or world-class countries or developed countries, this is the mandate where we should lead uh, in the coming period uh, as we speak. Yes. So, Doctor, how do you see the importance of uh, the smart uh, cities in uh, the uh, current stage? Well, uh, the smart cities, uh, let us uh, give some insights about that we have the, the, the new aspect of capital, which is uh, a, a smart by its nature from the beginning. Also, we have the, 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 the uh, smart villages, the different uh, seven smart villages all over Egypt. This is actually a very good starting point right now where uh, this will stimulate and give the passion to entrepreneurs and techies and, and tech people 
they will have the infrastructure ready. They have the places over the, the world, over the all around, and then uh, working environment also is very uh, important for them. So they have all the uh, what you call like the the, the, uh, the the different parts of the equation ready for them to utilize in the proper way. So the facilitation of resources, facilitation of internet connectivity, having access to different types of high technological labs. For instance, this is smart city in a smart village in uh, uh, Burg al Arab, which is specialized in Internet of Things, and we saw a lot of initiatives and a lot of competitions were uh, taking place over there, and a lot of entrepreneurs started to move forward. So all these are enabling environments and uh, um, like um, um, giving a great signal for startups to support the value chain of this type of uh, cities. For instance, we need people in the monitoring and uh, for different resources. We need people to develop things in the supply chain. We need people or startups to support in the delivery. We need in the delivery and the, the last mileage delivery. So a lot of services that will be catered for the startups is extremely uh, uh, waiting for them to come in and to utilize this type of opportunities. And also let me... Uh, uh, shed the light on the, the role of the Ministry of Information and Communication Technology, where they uh, uh, give the signal for startups to take share, the share of the development of the different types of uh, systems in the administrative capital, and this is not only for the big giants in telecom industry and information commission technology, but also for the startups to be share hand in hand with this type of large corporates. So uh, we will ensure the uh, knowledge transfer from, yes. uh, from world class organization to the startups, and then having the, 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 the royalty and the ownership of developing these emerging systems in the such cities as well. Yes, uh, I thank you very much uh, for your uh, valuable information. Thank you for your uh, time, uh, Dr. Nazar uh, Sami, Consultant Innovation and Technology Management. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, a short break and I'm going to be back with you.